Good morning, folks. Welcome. What a beautiful start of a week. Okay. I'm here now to try and find and to record a place called Shenstone Chapel. It's taken me a good bit of driving to get here in these scenic lanes. Okay, I'm hoping that this could be the gate. Ramblers here, so it could be. Okay, everybody, I think I'm on the right path now to find it. Just look at that view. Listen. Nothing but silence. No wind, no cars. Perfect. Video okay, weapon. folks. Success. Okay, let's get over the fence. Okay, folks. Wow. What magnificence. I am truly in awe of this place. Look at this. Look at those roots. Okay, let's have a look round first. Just taking some shots at the same time. Okay. So this is Shenstone Chapel. Just look at the building. And look at the arched windows. What a fantastic find. Urban Explorer for you here. Let's just go up here. See, this would have been coated in render back in the day. And you can see remnants of it there. Look, look at that. Okay, I'll be going in there shortly. I just want to walk all around this magnificent building first. Awesome. Truly awesome. To think that people came here To worship or to just meet together in singing hymn singing reading let's go inside folks Wow look at that window Now, I have heard that back in the day, that would have been... Let me just get the lighting right, folks. Hold on a moment, let me just... Okay. Yeah, back in the day, that would have been beautiful stained glass, but over the years, the decades, the centuries, it just got stolen by thieves which is a shame that's the view can you imagine what it must have been like now a lot of these trees were probably not around because this is a 400 year old building oh, look at that arch i mean it surprises me actually because this is classed as a grade two, I think, listed building. So why are they letting it go like this? Why aren't they repairing it? Some sort of a vent there, look. 
Yeah, there's some uh, subsidence just there, but then again, there are some big trees close by, but another vent up there, look. And big gap under the doorway, but then again, it's probably moved over the centuries. I mean, that looks like concrete. I mean, look at this, what a beautiful room this is. Imagine that, look, a morning sun coming through there. Oh, you can hear the echo. I'm just adjusting the, uh, the light. It must have been a beautiful place. Well worth a journey, my friends. It takes quite a bit to get to, and it is nestled. In the woodlands, and it's very hard to find, which is probably a good thing because it stops the majority of the naughty people, the vandals. So I just heard a buzzard or a hawk. Did you hear it? Excellent, I'm gonna go around now, take some photographs. But what a beautiful place. Can you just imagine what might have happened here? Obviously people's been here, leaving their mark on the place, which is what people have been doing for eons. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, somebody was there, look, the 9th of May. In 2020. Cool. There's the doorway. This looks like one of the shutters that's just fell apart and somebody's put it there. If only there was photographs going back when the stained glass was here. It would have been truly beautiful. Okay, let's have another look outside. I mean, that root there, just look at that. I mean, you could almost sleep under there. So peaceful. So beautiful and peaceful. Let's have a look down here. A beautiful yew tree, I believe it is. Have a look at those magnificent windows from another perspective. It'll just pan out. Just look at that. Beautiful. You can hear that hawk. And I can hear a mechanical hawk, an aeroplane up in the sky. Now, I don't know if that's part of the structure. It looks like quarry tiles, possibly the floor. It was a quarry tiled floor, which is a shame that people's damaged it and stole, stole it. Just look, the roof is, I would say, almost just, just, yeah, the roof is almost, I'd say, intact. This is how good the builders were back in the day. Not like today, where they just build boxes and stick people inside. This is proper building. I mean, look at the round structure. Look, look at that lip over there, the edge. This is a fantastic find. You can probably tell I'm excited. I didn't think I'd find it actually. It's thanks to another explorer. And I'll give a shout out to him and his channel. And he goes around some beautiful places. And he was only watching his explorer, this chapel, that got me interested in, in it. So 
Uh, massive shout out to you, my friend. So, see, a lot of these trees were probably not around. That one there, the middle one, no, nah, that wouldn't have been around, not 400 years ago. This would have just been um, a lot more possibly open than it is now. There might have been some oaks, but I've got to admit, I can't see any oaks. It's, it's all yew, which obviously, if you know your history, a yew tree uh, and holly is connected to religious um, things. It's supposed to ward off badness and stuff. It's a downpipe there. Look, and you can see the pins where what what was once some sort of a gutter, probably a cast iron gutter, which has probably been stolen. It's a shame. But look at the detail on the door. I'm glad to see it's up. You know, surprised somebody and stole it. That's probably hundreds of. If it's the original one, that would be three to four hundred years old. Just look at the detail. Okay, friends. I want to thank you for joining me on this adventure. Let's just pan over here now. And looking at this magnificent building, I really do hope that you've enjoyed watching it with me and experiencing this beautiful place in history. But thankfully now, just pan out, but I've recorded it and others like me have recorded it because that's what we do. We record it for future generations. So that people can always look at beautiful historic buildings. Okay, friends, thank you for watching the video. Please like, share and subscribe and please do join me for more content. After I leave here, I'm going to try and find some remains of Roman baths, which I am told are not too far away. So, some more pictures will follow after this. Thank you and bye. Okay, so I've just discovered, but just right by this window here, folks, it's like some sort of a shelving system look. Probably solid slabs of oak and that looks like some sort of a reef obviously that's not been here hundreds of years because it's got that modern stuff in that you poke holly into i can't think what it's called now anyway i just thought i'd share that with you okay friends i took quite a few photographs got some great shots of this beautiful place but i just wanted to Just let you listen to the beauty of nature for a moment. I shall be quiet from now. absolutely beautiful and like i say there's no noise apart from nature you can hear the odd airplane there's no cars hear that the buzzards or the hawks there's an oak tree just over there i think by the look of it that looks like an oak in the distance there 
What a tranquil place. Mm. Anyway, time to head to the next place now. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that little moment of tranquility with everyone because it's so rare to find now that beautiful peace and quiet away from people because there's too many of us on the planet. We're all in each other's backyards and you've really got to get out into places like this if you just want to be on your own and gather your thoughts. What a fantastic place to meditate over here. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. Uh, Urban Explorer for you, out. Just look at the view here, friends. Amazing. You see, they try and cram everybody into towns and cities. And they say there's not enough land, but there's loads of land. But it would be nice, obviously, if it stays land and not crammed with people. You can hear a few planes, there must be an airport around here. He's up in the sky there, look. Just thought I'd share that with you all.